tree planters mean a lot for the company because we, uh, we harvest trees. It's very important for us to put those trees back in the ground to the quality standards that, that we need. Uh, machines can't do it and we can't do it any other way. It has to be a tree planter, a person. And tree planting is a really, really important part of what we do uh, in our forest and on our land and on our crown land. It's part of our strategy, it's part of our long-term commitment to sustainability. The Irving family's been committed to planting trees and taking care of the land for a long time and we've been planting trees since 1957 on our lands. Growing the forest is uh, having good trees and having good tree planters. So it, it's, it's really important that we have good tree planters that want to be here. They want to be part of that story. So tree planting is a very difficult job, physically and mentally. Uh, it requires waking up very early in the morning, um, getting to a van and driving you know, up to an hour out to uh, the middle of the woods to a planting site. A uh, typical day, I wake up at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, we meet at a location uh, with our van and we all drive out as a crew together. We meet at 4. Uh, we usually start planting around 6, hopefully a little bit earlier. Uh, and then we plant uh, until 2 o'clock. When you get here, you get you load up your trees, then you, you go out and you usually get your own individual piece, but you're always around other people. You're not kind of alone in the woods or anything like that. There's always people around, there's a lot of uh, communication. When I heard about tree planting, I was like, yeah, it's supposed to be tough. I'm in shape, it should be okay, but it's gonna be hard. But then when I started working, I was like, wow, this is really hard. This is by far the hardest job that I've ever had and probably the hardest job that I will ever have. It's extremely physically demanding and also mentally. Well, it's super physically demanding, but you get in shape after a few weeks regardless of like your physical activity level prior to here. It's definitely good to uh, get ready beforehand. Yeah, a lot of people come into the job thinking that it's going to be a lot easier than it actually is. They get the impression that you'll be planting in essentially a potato field, um, but it's really not like that at all. The job is very demanding. Um, I think one of the things people have the most trouble with is staying consistent, making sure they come to work every day, prepared, making sure they take care of themselves at night. So the job isn't just demanding when you're there doing it, but it's demanding throughout the entire course of the tree planting season. If you're working really hard, you're going to make a ton of money out here. Rookies kind of have, are slow at the start making money, but uh, once you get the hang of it, you really pick it up. Uh, depending on the land, uh, you can make a little bit more, a little bit less. If it's really bad land, you get paid more to do it. The pay to come tree planting is, is pretty good. And then on top of that, at the end of the year, we'll, we'll give them a, a scholarship to go back to school. And then every year after that, the, the scholarship gets bigger. It's, it's something to help them out. It helps them out and it shows our commitment to their education as well. It feels great at the end of the day to say, oh, I planted 4,000 trees today. I earned that money. It, it's a great sense of, I guess, pride and knowing that you can do that amount of work. Uh, I love working here. It's a super physical job and it's really rewarding. It's hard work, but it's fun. I like the feeling of working hard and getting my, my money by earning it instead of sitting at a desk or something like that. Uh, I like coming out here, getting my hands dirty and, uh, and really feeling like I earned what I make. I'm putting something back into the earth. It does make you feel good at the end of the day that you, you are helping uh, the planet in some way. I started as a tree planter in, in Truro, Nova Scotia. It was my first year of university, and um, I applied to tree plant again the following year, but I was identified as a, as a leader, which is another great thing about urban tree planting is, is because uh, there's a lot of leadership opportunities out here to, to run your own crew, and that's what happened to me. I was uh, promoted to tree planting foreman. Upon graduation, um, I was offered a full-time job with, with J.D. Irving Limited in Sussex Woodlands. A great opportunity to develop some leadership skills, which looks good on a resume, and uh, and we think it's a, it's a good opportunity for them and for us, because because we we want more leaders in the company, and we wanna we wanna develop leaders, and we want them to come work for us uh, in the long term. So it's a it's a win-win. <laughs>